This is Lulu Sketches. If you're new here, I am an artist at Disney Animation on Tangled the Series. A while back when I hit 100,000 followers on Tumblr, to thank you guys, I made a Photoshop tutorial slash speed paint. It was one of my Harry Potter drawings, and along the way I talked about Photoshop shortcuts that I like, but it was a very long video. It showed the entire drawing from beginning to end. It might have been hard to catch where all these shortcuts were unless you were paying really close attention. So today Today I wanted to go over five of my favorite Photoshop tricks slash shortcuts that I use all the time when I'm drawing. Number one is how I move around the canvas on Photoshop. With the spacebar tool, you can pan around your canvas. In conjunction with the pan tool, I use the Z key to zoom in and out of my drawing. While I'm moving around the canvas, I also use the R key, which is the rotate tool. To get out of the rotate tool, just hit escape. Even in real life, I flip around the paper a lot, whether I'm writing or drawing. It's probably because I'm left-handed, so I like to do this on Photoshop too. Number two, to draw straight lines on Photoshop, hold down the shift key. I like to draw straight lines a lot in my drawings, especially in my environmental drawings. Also, while I'm drawing characters sometimes, I like to draw a vertical line in the middle of them just to make sure that they're balanced. If you rotate your canvas with the R key first, and then use the shift key, you can make straight lines at all different angles. Number three is my favorite Photoshop trick. When I'm first coloring my characters or a big shape in a background, I like the painted edges to look nice, whether the drawing is lineless or has lines. When you make a shape with a nice brush on Photoshop, you can't just use the bucket tool to fill in the middle or it will mess up your edges. So I paint the edges with my favorite brush and then I hit the W key, which is the magic wand tool, and then I hit select, modify, expand. I usually expand by two to four pixels depending on the size of my canvas. Then I use the bucket tool G to fill inside the shape. I use select modify expand so much in Photoshop that I set it as my own personal shortcut. I set it to the shortcut command O because command O previously was just used to open new files and it's not a very useful shortcut. Number four on my list is flipping the canvas horizontal. Flipping your canvas horizontal as you draw will force you to see your drawing from a different perspective. It will help you realize places in your drawing where things aren't balanced so you can fix them. To flip your canvas horizontal, hit image, image rotation, flip canvas horizontal. I use this tool a lot while I'm drawing, so I set this as a shortcut also. I set it to the shortcut Command Q. Command Q is a default shortcut on Photoshop for quitting Photoshop. This was a useless command for me because I never quit Photoshop. Photoshop quits itself. So I flip my canvas horizontally many times as I go, as I'm doing a drawing. The last Photoshop tool I wanted to go over was the undo tool. People get confused when they first start Photoshop because they think that they can undo 10 times in a row just by hitting Command Z over and over. This is not the case. If you open your history panel on Photoshop, which is a panel I like to keep open all the time, you'll see that Command Z is for flipping back and forth to somewhere in the history bar. I think that's the best way to explain it. If you make a mistake in your drawing and you want to use the undo tool multiple times, you need to hit Command Option Z. Command Option Z will undo each mark you made and move you up in the history bar. If you want to compare before you drew those lines versus after you drew those lines and you've Command Option Z up into the history bar, you can hit Command Z to check what it looked like after hit Command Z again to see what it looked like before. So Command Z is very useful for flipping back and forth in the history bar. This is good if you want to test out something in a drawing like, oh, do I want to put the arm here? You can draw it on there and then Command Option Z back in the history bar to before you drew it and then hit Command Z again to see what it looks like with versus seeing what it looked like before. This is useful for a lot of things in Photoshop for drawing and painting. And a lot of people don't understand just how the undo tool works. You can also change your settings on Photoshop so there will be a longer history bar. This would give you the ability to undo more times. Those are my Photoshop tricks for today. I hope this was helpful. If you would like more those Photoshop tricks slash shortcuts, I can make another one of these videos because I have plenty of them. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye!